In this video, we will talk about a common vowel mistake. And today we have one of my Russian students here. This is Vera. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Vera. Welcome. This is a vowel that doesn't exist in most other languages. Vera, tell us about this particular vowel sound. So this is the difference between two E sounds, E versus E. What's the difference? Well, in Russian, you only have one E sound. It sounds like uh, American longer E. It's like E. In America, you have two sounds. One is E and the other one E. The difference is when you say E, it's more tense. You have your tongue higher and you say E. Uh, your lips are stretched a little bit. Uh, the second sound is short and very relaxed. You say E. It's almost like E. <laughs> That's good. So when you see the I in the word, it's usually this short E sound. And when you see double E or EA, it's usually the E sound. OK, so the letter I can help us know how to pronounce this relaxed sound. Can we think of some words that are spelled with the letter I that have this difficult vowel sound? Yes, for example, bit, like a one bit of information. And how does a typical Russian person say it if they don't know the correct pronunciation? Russians would say beat. Uh, but beet is a vegetable. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You have to say bit. That's right. Good, good. Okay, can you think of some other words that have that sound? Yes, uh, for example, set versus seat. Okay. Uh, or hit versus heat. If is a word with a short S sound. It is also. But when you say, for example, he, we, it's the longer E sound. Okay, so the E sound is at the end of the word, so we don't have the I sound at the end of the word. There's no English word that has the I at the end, so we don't say he, we say he. We don't say busy, we say what? Busy. 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 We have the busy. E at the end. Yes. That's a hard one, right. So you have to distinguish between his, like belongs to him, right. and he's, he is. Right, he's my friend. Yes, versus right. it's his wallet. Okay, that's great. That's great. All right, let's um let's practice some sentences now. Yeah, sure. Okay, great. So for for example, you would say, I feel great. Uh, but you would say, fill that pot. Good job. Okay, great. Um, did you heat it? Meaning, did you make it warm? Or did you hit it? Meaning, did you punch it? Um, these are sheep. Meaning animals, versus this is ship meaning vessel. Okay, that's amazing. That's great. Wow, your, your accent is, is really uh, good. Pronunciation's great. Thanks, Lisa. Uh, when do you leave, meaning when do you go away, versus where do you live, where do you reside? So it's leave versus live. Okay, great. All right, so the relaxed sound is the difficult sound. So remember, if there's a letter I in the word, that's when you're going to have to underline the word and practice. Don't say difficult, say Difficult. Good. Don't say big. Say what? Big. Beautiful. Uh, don't say if. Say what? If. Vera does an excellent job with those vowel sounds. Uh, underline the I's, practice them, and uh, you're going to soon improve your pronunciation. Thanks, Vera. Thank you, Lisa. Please subscribe to my channel. And also, please go to the website and get on the mailing list. I'm writing a few more new books. And I'm also making new videos that are only going to be available on accurateenglish.com. Thanks for watching.